I made a big to-do about leaving behind a part of my identity which, upon reflection, had been harmful to me. I finally got some closure, and then I didn't have to care anymore. There was an epilogue which I didn't vlog about, but that was a silly adventure with friends which just happened to involve card games. That was just for us. Then the much-delayed final video of this send-off became by far my best performing upload, and now I've got a much bigger audience that wants more Yu-Gi-Oh content. Yeah, hi, if you're new here, I've been vlogging for several years. So to find finally get an audience for these videos I've put so much effort into, I've had to unquit competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! Which is extra difficult here because my old subscribers don't want competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! content. But if I make a separate channel for the card games, then their success will no longer boost my other videos, and I don't know if attempting streaming is a viable idea, even if that performs well. If it becomes work whose only reward is more eyes on Yu-Gi-Oh! content, I don't think that'll make me happy. While I'm sorting out this mess, I've returned turned to the tournament scene, playing at a new store far away from the old bad place with the cheaters and scammers and homophobes. It's so different here I can't even contextualize it. For the most part, people appreciate my weird cards instead of just getting angry when they lose to the twink who looked like a free win. I've had good conversations, nobody's made me feel like I don't deserve to be here. Most surprising is that it hasn't felt stressful, not even the regional I just played at. I think that's because this is like a job for me now. It's okay if I don't win today, it's okay if I don't have fun today. My goal at these tournaments is to get content, so I can make more Yu-Gi-Oh videos I'm proud of, so I can also get a larger audience for my other videos. Few of these videos have been watched for longer than they took to make. By the way, I won that tournament. For those of you who are expecting a more typical Crystal Beast deck, smash that subscribe button. Pile drive that notification bell. Annihilate that like button and purge its bloodline from this mortal realm. <coughs> Oh, my voice can't go that low. So, I've decided I'm gonna be making a lot more videos going forward. Two every month, instead of two a year. One for the Yu-Gi-Ohs, and one for my usual vibe, which will alternate between vlogs and the Pokemon fashion review series, which I'm very excited about. I've got a whole year of content planned, if I can keep this up. Y'all don't see the ridiculous tech issues I have to put up with for every upload, but now that I've been getting a bigger audience to share these with, it's starting to feel like a little less screaming into the void.